In the darkest hours of life, only through the eyes of faith can we see the loving hand of God. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by David McCaslin. David writes, The perception of favoritism is one of the biggest factors in sibling rivalry, said Dr. Barbara Howard, a developmental behavior pediatrician. An example would be the Old Testament character Joseph, who was his father's favorite son, which made his older brothers furious. So they sold Joseph to merchants traveling to Egypt and made it appear that a wild animal had killed him. His dreams had been shattered and his future appeared hopeless. Yet, along Joseph's journey of life, he chose to be true to his God and rely on him even when it seemed to make his situation worse. After being falsely accused by his employer's wife and imprisoned for something he didn't do, Joseph struggled with the injustice of his situation but kept trusting the Lord. David continues, Years later, his brothers came to Egypt to buy grain during a famine and were terrified to discover that their despised younger brother was now the prime minister. But Joseph told them in Genesis 45, 5 and 8, Do not be distressed and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. It was not you who sent me here, but God. Joseph's kind words caused me to wonder if I would be ready for revenge, or would I be gracious because my heart had confidence in the Lord. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Genesis chapter 45, verses 1 through 11. Then Joseph could no longer control himself before all his attendants, and he cried out, Have everyone leave my presence. So there was no one with Joseph when he made himself known to his brothers. And he wept so loudly that the Egyptians heard him, and Pharaoh's household heard about it. Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father still living? But his brothers were not able to answer him because they were terrified at his presence. Then Joseph said to his brothers, Come close to me. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, the one you sold into Egypt. And now do not be distressed and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here, because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. For two years now there has been famine in the land, and for the next five years there will be no plowing and reaping. But God sent me ahead of you to preserve for you a remnant on earth, and to save your lives by a great deliverance. So then it was not you who sent me here, but God. He made me father to Pharaoh, lord of his entire household and ruler of all Egypt. Now hurry back to my father and say to him, This is what your son Joseph says. God has made me lord of all Egypt. Come down to me, don't delay. You shall live in the region of Goshen and be near me. You, your children and grandchildren, your flocks and herds, and all you have. I will provide for you there, because five years of famine are still to come. Otherwise, you and your household and all who belong to you will become destitute. That's today's scripture reading from Genesis chapter 45, verses 1 through 11. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, give us the ability to trust you today and always and to see your good hand along our road of life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.